Hi, it's Xavier, and welcome back to the Dwarven Town in Beta 19, even though RimWorld 1.0 is released. I do indeed have the Dwarven campaign working, thank the heavens. But, uh, because I'm a little unfamiliar here, I realized, I took a minute to look around, I realized that Brigan is actually dying and is at 82%. Uh, let's get Simon over here, because she has the highest will and will be probably the best candidate to wake up and go rescue. Apparently, Brigan somehow got locked inside of there, and you know what? I bet I bet what I can do to fix this is the expand clear forbid riding area. Place mount drop spot, clear mount drop spot. Uh, clear? No, place. Ah, that's what we need to do. Mount drop spots on either side. Yes, same deal over here. You know what? We haven't updated this in a long time. So let's go around and kind of look at it. Let's get a couple of mount drop spots over there as well. Fantastic. This one's out actually broken. Clear mount drop spot there. Uh, let's place a new one here and here, because that makes a little bit more sense. Actually functional. We got this one down there. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, I kind of thought about moving the hay grass in here, but I'm not sure if it's worth the, the effort, to be entirely honest. Woo! Listen, look at this campaign. Listen to it. It's like thunder everywhere. Cows roaming all about. Uh, probably 8 million raiders incoming in about 15 seconds. Brigham, you gonna be alright? It's been a while, friend. Oh god, cinnamon, go quickly. Look at all of that earth bread. One of the things we need to do today is move this over. Uh, I was thinking of actually finally building defenses. I know it's been like a ridiculous amount of time I've been saying that, but I think this today I'm actually gonna do it. Let's let's get the defenses going. I'm actually gonna make them out of steel because I was looking, or iron rather, because I've been looking around. There's a lot of iron deposits. There's one here. Uh, there's like one here, there's like one over there, one here, one there, one here, one there, one there. Um, there's a lot of them. Uh, the reason I've been avoiding making, and there's another one over there. The reason I've been avoiding that, of course, is because iron is finite. Once we're out of it, I believe we're out of it. But all the stone is not, thanks to the medieval mod. Once I get the research done, whatever the heck that, hopefully this episode we start doing research. I think it's, uh, smithing systems, is that right? Advancement, maybe it's crafting systems. We get the ability to build a quarry. And then we can mine chunks. I doubt you can mine iron with it, but maybe you can. And I've been I've been wasting all my time making these stone traps all this time. Um, I suppose we'll find out. But first, should I put this one in? No. Oh boy, doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look super nice? Let's make sure Brigham's not gonna die over here to cinnamon. You all right? How are we doing? Malnutrition, eighty-nine percent. As soon as you're done, later cinnamon. Pro oh, never mind. Marie just woke up and took care of it for us. Fantastic. Let's go through our issues. Animal starvation on Brigan. All right. Minor issues. Oh, Cedric's asleep in the in the lava forge today. Apparently, wonderful. Cedric, how you doing on your needs here? Hungry? Slept in the cold? Slept outside? We need to get Cedric some kind of place to to, to be. Maybe I think. <laughs> this is currently a little bit asinine, watching him run around do all this nonsense. It's fun, but asinine. Uh, let's reinstall his bed up over here. We'll make this a barracks. Ooh, look at that. It's gonna be a little comfortable. Not the best thing in the world, but hey, better than sleeping out in the cold, as fun as that narrative was. Uh, who's the other reminder break, Chris? Chicken Dwarf. Well, that doesn't surprise me. He's living in a pile of kibble. <laughs> like, <laughs> unsightly environment, awful bedroom, slept in the cold, ate without a table. Yeah. You know what, Chickendorf? What we could do for you, believe it or not, is put you into the barracks. Is that better for you? Probably. Let's reinstall your bed over here. You know, awful barracks is probably better than uh, the alternative. Why is there a torch in here? We don't need that. Let's deconstruct that. We've got this fighter box over there. That's just kind of a way. Speaking of, simple meat has rotted away in storage. Really? Mead has rotted away. Ah, Misha's making some more. Fantastic. You know what we need is more of these guys right here. Uh, it seems like we just don't have enough mead. Let's put in as many as many barrels as we can fit that makes sense within the confines of walking. Ah, there we go. Two more. Whew, I love it. You know what we really, really need to do today, actually, is have Paul Dose dig out our new kitchen. We have grown out of this space, friend. It was a fun time while we were here, but it's time to move on. And the way we're going to do that is... Ooh, look at me making the lavas. The lavas. The way we're going to do it anyway is we're going to have Paul Dose dig this stuff up here. But first, we should probably just wait a little bit for him to dig the iron out. And then also, didn't I say something about traps and walls and whatnot? I think we should definitely do... Oh, that's a new thing. I just saw a new thing. Remove overhanging mountains. Whoa. What? Oh, that must be a terra terraform mod. Oh, I don't want to mess with that. Uh, yeah, but listen to... Oh, God. What have I done? Now I've got some kind of 
thing on the screen and I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, friends. Oh, what up now? There's another, now there's another one on the screen. Bloody hell. Get these roofs out of here. Toggle visibility. There we go. Toggle visibility of roofs. We're fine. Everything's good. Fine and proper. Don't worry about it. No problems to see here. Uh, let's think about, well, I guess we are kind of building this, but you know what? That's just literally just wood. Not a big deal. So let's at least lay in the foundation down here. Another thing I wanted to do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's grab this vent, build a copy of it over here because it was destroyed before. This one, I believe, we're probably going to actually shut it because it's getting cold now. Yeah, 43 degrees in there, 29 outside. Let's actually shut that thing up. And then this one, once it's replaced, we'll shut that as well. But for right now, God, there's a lot of things I want to do right now. I wanted to switch over all these tables, and I think this is the first one. We've suspended limestone. Let's unsuspend limestone. I think I want to make this one out of... Actually, let's kind of... It's either way, right? Starts on sandstone on the left, becomes limestone on the right. So what, what the heck do we do about that? I have no idea as far as symmetry goes. We could make this, though, limestone at the very least. So we could put in a Dwarven Grand Structure limestone. We want to put it back as much as we possibly can. I suppose here... Hmm... There's no, there's no perfectly good place to put it, but I suppose here is a place to put it. Uh, let's throw it in. Put in a bit of the old structure wall. Oh, no, actually, we want dwarven walls. Dwarven lime... Whoopsie daisy. Dwarven limestone walls. Fantastic. So that'll be one defensive structure. Come down here to security, and let's put in... Iron spike. Actually, I could make steel. It doesn't doesn't take that much time. Plus, we get the experience building it as well, right? So let's do steel, steel. And since we can barely fit anything else in here, I suppose that's the extent of what we can do. To be honest, it's not the, like, the best defense I've ever made in my entire life. But at least it is a defense. Uh, and then, you know what? If I've got all that going, maybe we should unforbid this and just build this one. I'm really worried about things coming from the south down here. Uh, then again, I'm not so worried about it coming up from up here because we can run over and trick some. We can trick some like a sneaky hobbitses as we've done many times before to running into. Oh, by the way, running into these traps. I found that there's a, there is another grizzly bear on the map. Yes. All right, who's the best tamer in the town? It is Alma. Alma has a 14. Alma, you need to get up there and you need to tame that grizzly bear. Let's make sure. Everyone's assigned to you. Assigned to you while Master is doing field work. Okay, we don't want all those guys, but we will take Titan. We'll take... Uh, oh, I should actually rename these guys as well, now that I think about it. So much easier to do this when you're streaming, though. You just ask for names. Bam, boom. All set, ready to go. Anyway, we'll bring basically all the animals with Ulma when Ulma's doing field work, which is basically just the taming. Uh, very rarely happens anyway. Uh, out comes Alma. All, already going straight for it. Not wasting a second on this grizzly bear. Oh, Alma, you don't even have a weapon, you dope. What the heck? Why do we have 8 million weapons, but none of them are the ones we want? Uh, let's go see if we can find a good one for a shift click. Holy, there's just so... How about this normal bearded? No, that's 58. Ooh, here, here's a good rusty warden. No, here we go. Good steel dwarven battle axe. Come on, Alma, you got this. Aloysius, protect the Alma. Woo! It's a grizzly bear standoff, friends. Will Ulma tame yet another bear? I had noticed this right before the episode started, looking around. Oh, trying to feed the bear milk. There we go! Ulma successfully tamed grizzly bear. That's incredible. That took all of zero seconds. Friends, we got another bear. Grizzly bear one. Oh, we had a grizzly bear one a long time ago. Let's click over there, I think. Maybe I should just grab the patrons. Um, like the lower tier patrons who don't get, get in as often. Maybe I'll do that after this episode. I'll make a list of like people and we can have them all be the, the bears. So, cause at this point I'm up to something like 200 patrons. So a lot of people just aren't getting in. It used to be that like there was like 20 patrons and everyone just got in all the campaigns over and over. But now I feel kind of bad cause people like support for months on end and never get to see anything, uh, unfortunately, but. At least this way we can get the uh, animals, animal names in. Plus, these animals are pretty amazingly awesome as well. So it's not even like it's a bad situation to be in. But Anywho, so that was one thing. I wanted to move this hay grass because I feel like all the animals over here are just eating it. So probably the smart move is just to do that now while I'm thinking about it. And, ooh, match. Add a growing zone, but only add terrain with fertility that matches the first cell picked. I didn't know that was even a thing. That's kind of cool. Huh. 
There's the rain now. I'm thinking of making hay around the outside, like kind of a nice little border of two. It probably won't be like the most efficient thing in the universe. But... I think it would be kind of cool. Just something kind of like that, right? Just a little bit of that. We'll just do a little bit more here. Not sure if I'm doing it exactly the right way. There. I don't know. That's probably good enough for now. Not sure what all these things... Oh, that's the fertile dirt and whatnot. So we got a little bit of hay grass coming around here. Let's grab every single one of these. I wish I had put them all in one, but it's fine. Let's go hay grass over there. We're going to grab this. We're actually going to probably unsow that zone and the same deal right there. Yep, good. That's not unsowing as well. Then we can probably do some more dandelions there for later. But Oh, what's this? Critical major break risk on Cedric. Well, that's going away a little bit. And part of the reason is slept outside, slept in the cold. Well, we did either move his bed or he still has it in his person. You know what? Let's actually check. Yep, he's still can't. See, just drop that bed on the ground, you dope. Just put it down. You're fine. We have these beds over here, and we need our best crafter making those right away. Who is that going to be? I think it is actually Cedric. Yes, it is. All right, Cedric, as soon as you get an opportunity here, I realize you're hauling wood down there to do those things, but I need you to come over here to prioritize working on that bed and then prioritize working on this bed. Thank you very much, Cedric. Now everyone will have a, at least a nice bed inside in a nice room that's warm to some extent. Uh, and we're not going to have to worry too much about sleeping outside in the cold, freezing, and all that good stuff. One thing I kind of want to do while we're in here, can we reinstall this fire, like, over here, maybe? Cedric, could you come over here when you're done and move that? And then we can grab this thing up here, reinstall it right down there. There we go. And then we'll grab you. And already working on the end table. Amazing. Now, everyone's got an end table in there. And everyone's got a dresser. Fantastic. Not the best thing in the universe, but whatever. You know what? Let's reinstall this one over here as well. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe right there. That's a nice little place for it, I think. Cedric, if you're not busy, you're wearing a Muflo wool winter cloak 34%. Well, I suppose if we don't have good armor for you, that's one thing you can do. Oh, we're building that thing. I had completely forgot about it. Cedric, go have some alcohol. Oh, we got no meals. I forgot about meals. Holy mother of heavens. It's time to start doing some hauling. Let's grab at least some of this stuff and haul it urgently to get it down there. Zero meals right now. That's one of the other things I wanted to remind myself to do. Uh, I wanted to build the fences down here to actually make some traps. I wanted to move this hay. I wanted to save uh, Brigand, which we did. I wanted to kind of start building this, but we're also working on this at the same time as well. Whoa, antisocial on me now. Final straw was unsightly environment. I think the environment's actually pretty sightly, to be honest, but okay, it's fine by me. Let's look around here and see if everyone has a weapon. Yes, 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 yes. No on Marie. Ooh, Marie loves the shooting, but we don't do no shooting because we're dwarves in this town. Do we have any good battle axes by chance? I bet the answer is no. Ooh, look at that nice helmet over there, though. We can get this normal. Nah, it's 30%. How about this one? 30%. The 58%. All this stuff is, like, super bad. 15%. Good lord. 67%. What is all this? 40. Oh, here we go. Good. Yes, Marie. That's, like, a 100% freshly made axe. Misha, do you have your weapon? Yes. Bagger Sage, you're good as well. Fantastic. All right, now everyone's going to move all these things. By the way, let's let's deal with this deterioration, right? So I don't really want all these things. Waterborne's gauntlets. Let's just forbid them and leave them out there to rot. They're like 42% anyway. Random toque. What is this? Waterborne's boots. Are these even good? Movement speed plus eight. Well, that's pretty good, actually. But no, let's get rid of it. Or knife forbid. It's all, all tattered nonsense anyway. What is this one here? Plains leather. Phalathrum elf armor. Uh, hard pass, I think. What else we got? Oh, random bandit hammer. Eh, we'll leave that there to rot. Apparently this corpse is over here, I guess. All of which need to be forbidden. We got two more things. Plains leather, door of a tunic. No idea how long that's been out there. And then lastly, bandit hammer 34. Done. All right, one less issue on the docket. And we're looking good. How long does this kibble last for us? It lasts literally forever, which is just what I want. This is emergency kibble for the winter and only the winter. 
Speaking of, 12th of September, should I expand the grow zones over here? Uh, beyond the hay grass? Maybe. Just fill it in with dandelions. But I kind of don't want to waste the time to do that right now. I'm more, more concerned on defenses and whatnot. Especially, I want to wall this up and get traps. So I don't have to worry about it. Because in the last, was it the last episode? Everyone came up here and it was kind of a mess and they went in a big circle. That could go horrifically wrong, depending. How's our animals? Are they all in the right spot? Yes, they are indeed all in the right spot. Oh, look at the puppies! Gilma and Zally were just born. Hey, guys. We're going to keep you safe. I think. At least that's the plan. So, we're going into winter. And we're going to go into winter... With actual warmth this time, we got fireplaces, we've got 400 wood, which is good. Do we have any more? We sure do. Actually, we got 1,530 wood up there. Are we going to have winter food this winter? We sure are. We got 1,700 of this. We're going to have honey root 652. Boy, you know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking, actually? Dwevs need them some alcohols. Manage drug policies. Select policy social drugs. Dwarven mead every day. Yeah, to hell with that. More like two times per day. To hell with that. More like four times per day. Only if mood below, uh, you know what? 50%. We're just going to have the happy dwarves, friends. Happy dwarves for life. Now that we're getting all this alcohol. By the way, people keep telling me to make pantries. I don't know. I get, You know what? Fine, I'll do it. I've been putting it off for this long, trying to avoid it. Just make a pantry. We'll throw the thing in there. Ooh, basic manager does. That would be fantastic, but... I don't want to mess with having to relearn how to use that mod. I know it's great once you know how to use it, but I always struggle to figure it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's just faction-based proximity. Negative 80 with uh, Nation of Verena. Veria, which is Azandum, Kingdom Under the Mountain. So, what was I doing? Oh, I was building a pantry, which is probably in... Furniture. There's the pa pantry shelf. Yes. Uh, I suppose we can put this like right here, actually. And then also over there if we really wanted to. Or I could put it there, leave a little space. All right, we'll put those two things in. And then we'll just copy the profile from this alcohol thing to it in the near future. Yes, everyone hit that alcohol. Just what we want. Fresh morning alcohol for the whole colony. Fantastic. We still have this little stockpile down there. Let's copy that setting. Cedric, what are you up to, friend? You're consuming some cram. Probably not the best thing we can do with your time. If you're not busy, as soon as you're done there, go work on this and then shift click work on that. Ooh, crank that out really fast. Grab this one, paste the settings. Oh, Gil just hauled in a meal for us. That's a nice thing. I feel like Cedric's gone now, and he just doesn't care at all. Yeah, he's countering Earthbread Root. Let's have him come down here and shift-click on this. I want to get the second one done while I still have the thing in my, uh, my paste log or whatever. Cedric, buddy, hanging out with someone, building wooden pantry shelf. Oh, Cedric's apparently making a fun day of it. He's going to come down here and show a little Misha how to build a wooden pantry shelf. That's fantastic, I think. I also could be completely wrong about this, but regardless, there we go. Who's he hanging out with? I'm not even sure. Oh, he's what? Did that chicken dwarf came in here out of nowhere and is like hurled invective about Cedric's brain power? <laughs> Probably because chicken dwarf was sitting in there, uh, really wanting things constructed in a better bedroom. He's like, you moron! Why are you building things so slow? Dwarf's never been so slow as you. At least that's what I imagine is going on over there. Is that who Cedric's hanging out with, Chicken Dwarf? Because if so, that's a kind of counterproductive hangout session. By the way, look at this alcohol we are chewing through. I love it. Meals, raw food, cram, hay, pemmican, raw resources. Uh, what is this? Mead? Mead war. No, I don't even know what this stuff is called. No, it's called Dwarven Mead. Okay. So if we look at this and we go to... Dwarven. Oh, it's under drugs, actually. So they need their own table, but I don't think they necessarily need it. Ah, so here's a stockpile on the ground. Spoils in 3.7. This one spoils in 12. I guess it's not too overpowered. Let's delete the one on the ground, of course, because that's kind of silly. And now we're much, much, much better off. Much better off. By the way, Grizzly Bear 1, how did you get yourself in here? 
because you're not restricted. Get out of the kitchen, Grizzly Bear One. Ooh, nice work, Olma. Working on obedience training. 56%, one out of three. Now, one of the other things I wanted to do today was research. Who can do our research? Well, I have Alma on it. Alma is by far the best, has a 12, and is super hyper passionate about it. But Alma's also the best animal handler with a 14. Chicken Dwarf has an 11, though, and Chicken Dwarf, honestly, is, well, is also the crafter. I have a 10. I could do it because I'm generally only doing plant things or construction. Probably not the worst thing in the world. Eh, I don't really know. Maybe I should just let Alma in. This is so tough, actually. Let's do this. Let's get me on training. Because a lot of people can do this training, right? So it's training on a four over there. I'll get myself up on it on like a five. So above most hauling things, but after growing. Now, we're going to actually take Alma off of training for a while. And then that way we can finally get around to doing researching. Which should happen most of the time. Let's bump it down to a five just to make sure it's ahead of all of these haul things that are on a six. Good, good, good. So now we're finally going to do some research. We got some food over here, which is nice to see. Spoils in 25 days. Paul Dose is just cooking up a ridiculous amount of food. Cinnamon's keeping things clean. This base is too functional for me, friends. I need to restart. <laughs> too easy. Nice. Marie's even harvesting heel root as well. Alma, what are you doing? Planting a pot in here. Keep everyone happy in this little barracks. And doing your research. Wow. Holy research, though. Look how fast Alma's researching. It's like one per second. Rejected proposal. Misha proposed a lifelong commitment to Paul Dose. Paul Dose rejected the proposal. It was too much for the relationship to continue and the two have now broken up. Uh, well, I mean, Paul Dose was a xenophobe. What the hell was he thinking in the first place? I, I don't think Paul Dose is the smartest tool in the shed, as you might say. Someone needs to get a grinding stone out there uh, for his cranium because I think he just got literally tricked into a relationship with Misha because uh, she called him like a golden crescent moon or whatever the heck it was. Baldos has finally come to his senses, but unfortunately we gave his bed to Bagger Sage. Now Bagger Sage ain't got no bed. Meanwhile, we spent all the time to make this thing. Ah, Baldos, what are you doing? You're messing with all our plans and strategies. This is nightmarish to the high heavens, I will say. We need so many more rooms. You know what else I need to do is re reorganize this. Let's reinstall it. I think we'll put it... Um, let's put it actually over there. Let's grab this one. We'll reinstall it and put it like here. Uh, that way this will actually affect that bed. So are all the beds affected now? Yes. Every single bed has a stool next to its headrest. Except for this one, of course. These ones all have it as well. Poldos, are you done, Diggy Diggy? Yes. You actually... Oh, that's right. Poldos was cooking that whole time. Okay, friends. It's time. Time for the Great Kitchen Expansion. And the way we do this is, I turn this on, I hit mine, and it looks like I left at least two tiles this time, which is actually what I wanted to do. So, good thing I managed to do that. This entire place is going to be the kitchen, and quite frankly, I'm not even sure if it's going to be enough room. It's the biggest dwarven kitchen anyone's ever seen, that's for sure. I'll probably do most of it like this now. Uh, and then actually cancel that one, because I don't want that there. Fantastic. Paul Dose, how long is it going to take you to do this? You think you'll get it done this episode? I mean, all all he's been doing is sitting in the mines, like, breathing the charcoal cinders and whatnot. So it may, maybe his eyesight's not so good. Maybe he couldn't see that Misha's a dwarf. I mean, I'm a hobbitsist, right? Why did I have that little pokey poke? Where was I going with that? That seems like a stupid thing. Why did I put that in there? That's not a path to anywhere. Uh, let's cancel that. Well, actually, that's just part of the planning mode, right? Not that, that really matters too much, but let's shut that off. Paul Dose, there you go. Nice big diggy diggy. Super huge. Let's check what Misha thinks about this. Little Misha. What a strong female hobbits is proposing to Paul Dose and then forced to sleep in the same. Look at her. She's just sitting there with her eyes wide open, beaming in anger as Paul Dose, like, looks away from her to the opposite direction. Paul Dose, you're stuck in the hobbit all now, friend. Look what you got yourself into. Oh, good lord. Misha, what's your needs? Trapped underground. Yeah, that's right. I should probably let her out a little. Sharing a bed. Rejected proposal from Paul Dose. Minor pain. Ratty apparel. Had a bad dream. No surprises there. Paul Dose, you got to be hating this room. Actually, he doesn't really care that much, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave him in that room for a while. 
We can probably let Misha out, though, before she goes crazy. I do like to keep her in there most of the time. Filthy hobbitses. She deserves to go out whenever she wants to, though. Once her mood gets a little bit negative. I think for the most part, she likes to hang out in that room, though. So I am the biggest break risk right now. And the reason, honestly, doesn't even make any sense to me, because when I click on my character here, there's no reason for my mood to be that low. Eight without a table, tattered apparel, and darkness. That's it. But look at all this. Catharsis, expectations. Why is my mood so low? Well, it's going up now as I do some work out here. It's just getting cold? I don't know. There we go. My recreation was super low, and now I've got it taken care of. Look at Marie, by the way. Why is Marie off the charts? Catharsis, moderate expectations, recreation fully satisfied, luxuriantly comfortable. Very impressive dining room, spacious interior, somewhat impressive rec room, slightly impressive bedroom. <laughs> Ready a battle. All right, let's go through everybody, shall we? So, I have only eight without a table and tattered a battle. Paul Dose has minor pains, sharing a bed, tattered apparel. Tattered apparel is just going to happen. Cinnamon is still mad about getting divorced by Cedric. <laughs> we just having breakups left and right now, friends. We're like running out of rooms to stick people. Uh, Radia apparel, impressive bedroom. You know what we should also do is build something, um, build an infirmary. We still don't have one. Radia apparel, rebuffed by Misha. Really? All my head on Misha. Misha's like, nah, I like Misa Paul Dose. That didn't work out too well for her. How long is that going to be on the docket? 2.7 days. All right, Rowdy Apparel as well. Cedric slept in the cold. Where is he right now? Ah, he's not sleeping. Actually, he is sleeping in the cold right now. Believe it or not. Because this room is not heated well at all. Maybe that's why I had that torch in there. I could put a fire in there, but I'm not. You know what I might do instead is actually expand that room over here and let the, let the, the juice flow through, as they say. That sounds like a good idea. Also, nobody says that. Like, what did I even just say? And how would we how would we make this not incredibly stupid? Well, we'll just make it stupid, <laughs> I think. Uh, we'll just do like that and that. And if we need to come through the middle, we can just put a door there, I suppose. And then we can have these be like overhead vents. Might be one of the dumber things I've done in my life, I think. Where the heck is it, by the way? Oh, temperature, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Overwall vent. Bam. Bam. All right. That'll take care of it. Just spread the heat in there as long as this one is shut. It is. Ooh, cats joined. This one opened now, and we don't want that, so let's shut that one. Why do I... I don't want cats, though. Why am I... What am I going to do with 10 million cats? Willow, Wilson, Tina, Darcy, Igor, Do, Max, Brandy, Crook, Frosty. There's so many cats. Good luck, guys. If you're going to be here, you're going to be... I could eat them up, I guess. Holy... What do you even do with that many cats? Do you just let them roam around killing all the squirrels in your zones? And then... Well, I don't want them assigned to nothing, right? I, I actually probably should make a cat zone, believe it or not. This is like the most odd thing I've ever got myself into. Although I'm pretty sure I've done this every single episode because it happens eventually. Or every single series, rather. Where the heck is cats? Manage areas. Let's do yield new area. We're going to call this one feline female. <laughs> female friends. Ain't nothing wrong with my brain. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. Female friends is red. Bam, boom. Why did I make it that red? That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, let's come over here. Uh, expand the allowed area of female friends. You guys can come eat corpses for days and then just eat up all of these vermin on the outside of our zones, right? Just kill them all. Get every one of these guys. I don't want them eating my heel root and all that jolly good time stuff. Get, just... Let them kill it all. I know cats don't eat none of that, so we don't have to worry about it. I don't know how you guys are going to stay warm in the winter, but uh, hopefully you're cats and you don't have to worry about it. Maybe we can let you in here to go pray to the, the gods or whatnot. And good luck. I suppose. Also down there. You know what? Fine. I see a lot of varmin down there. Also over here. You guys can basically just go anywhere outside. Uh, in fact, over here as well. Oh, research finished. We actually researched something, friends. Took 18 episodes, but we've got it. Medieval technologies. The path of medieval living and warfare begins here. The tech provides the basics of stew creation and home heating with the stone hearth. 
The smokehouse will get you through the winter with dried fruits and jerked beets. The smithy will add to craft some basic weapons and armor. Not to mention low-tech lighting solutions to your medieval needs with the street lamp and interior brazier. Fantastic. Why don't we go for defensive systems next? And we'll, we'll take another look at that in a minute. I need to get my cats, like, into the right place here. Because apparently I have a million of them. You guys all get over there into the female friends. Fantastic. Am I missing any of them? No, that's good. So, let's check out our new medieval stuff, all right? Ooh, the smoke. Huh? Why is it all stretched and weird? I don't know. Look at the street lamps. So, oh, I remember these things. They're awesome. They're so awesome. Although, these little boxes aren't bad either for the doors. Light reflector. Guarding. Blacksmith's Forge. I done reckon it's time for more for what happened to my lava why oh never mind it's fine i just had some kind of thing on it for some reason what is this made out of sandstone all right that's what we're gonna do this one this one's gonna be sandstone as well now i had specifically made this like this to fit it here but i didn't realize that that's how it worked so uh, we're gonna have to make it like this uh and then we're gonna have to build another one of these floors which is not gonna work out the way that i want it to exactly because i don't know how to fix these floors if anyone knows how to fix this let me know is this sandstone as well i'm pretty sure it is so we'll put it over there this terrain cannot support this all right so we need to do actually do terraform them back to soil this turn whoa 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 what do i mean terraform cannot support this can i do like just water what do i have to do mud once you do lava is it just permanent lava like, cannot support this. Um, <laughs> it's just, I think it might be. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I might have done it backwards. Uh, well, I ain't got no solution to this. Rich, rich soil. I don't know how to clear it. I don't know how to cancel that surface. Maybe I got to do it like this. Oh, there we go. I see. I just had to. That's all we had to do. Not a big deal. Then we can put the sandstone over. Anyway, mad tortoises. Some sort of psychic wave has jumped over the universe and we're being invaded by a grand total of... Like... Uh... Five tortoises? I guess. Let's just go hunt those. Like, who even cares? <laughs> Fine. By the way, guys, zero issues right now in the whole town except for Tattered Apparel. And we're working on... <gasps> Little cougar. Ooh, free turkey. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I'll take free turkeys for days. You give me a turkey, I'll take it. By the way, this all being done now, let us reinstall these up over here. Get them out of the way. Uh, to get us even more growing potential during the winter. Temperature, 32. Inside, 50. Seems sufficient. Temperature growth multiplier yeah, is getting really close. Really close. One way I could fix this is by doing double walls, double doors, actually. So we'll put those in at some point. Uh, and then we'll probably make more doors. I think I actually have some extra doors floating around. Yes, I got one over here. Let's grab that. We'll install it right there. And then this one here, once that one's in, we'll, we'll move that one back one just for symmetry. But that should work. I don't know how the temperature works on these giant doors as far as letting stuff in and out of that. Um, either way, though, this is looking fine. So we got 35 meals, a fair bit of uh, vegetables here. The turtles are coming. Watch out, guys. They're coming. Here, here they come still. Oh, Baldos, man, a turtle. Chop it. Ooh, Baldos needs treatment. Nice. Baldos got one. How about the rest of you guys? Can you handle the turtle? Look at this. Igor and Max and Frosty and Brandy and Willa. Frosty, what happened to you? Whoa. A tortoise fought you and it bit out your eye and your tail? What a vicious tortoise. Oh god, here comes another one. Will the cats survive? Zev, save our cats that we don't want really so much. Come on, Zev, you got this, buddy. Did a tortoise just step on my stone trap? Or was that Paul Dose? Something, or something just stepped on a stone trap. I heard it go thwap. Um, Zev, apparently, he got almost bitten in half by... Why are these... What are these mega tortoise? Tortoises? Mega turtles? I'm gonna call them mega turtles because that was like the first thing that came to mind. Good lord, almost bit Zevin. <laughs> Why is a dwarf, right? So, tur turtles are probably like rhinoceroses to them, and rhinoceroses are probably like woolly mammoths to us. I think I said that right, but all right, uh, Cedric. One thing we need you to do immediately is prioritize fixing our little mistake over here because we need pretty things above all else, right? 
Floors, sandstone tiles. Cedric, I told you to go to that tile. There we go. Thank you. Well, I'll put that in there as well. Get you and very quickly prioritize working on that. And then lastly, let's get that medieval forge. Let's see what we can build there. Awesome. And then additionally, can I do terraform over here directly to lava? No. Can't be placed on ra random stones. Well, we can probably remove the floor, right? And then do it. Okay. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. And then Cedric, when you're done with that, prioritize removing that floor. Fantastic. Oh, it's actually almost lava there already. Although not quite exactly. There we go. Let's get Cedric on a shift click up there as well. I want to make sure that this gets done. Uh, work on the lava. All right, sandstone blocks, 35 out of 35. We need a little bit of iron, but you know what? We've got plenty of that. Cedric, if you wouldn't mind constructing that forge for us just so we can see what it looks like. Chicken Dwarf, what are you up to, buddy? Smelting steel from iron. Yeah, we're probably using a lot of traps all over the place. Cedric, you're coming back. There it is. There, look at this dwarf with his woolen cloak wearing his helmet indoors. It's also happy fun time hour and Cedric's going to miss it. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Cedric, would you mind coming back here just really quick? That lava takes two seconds. Bam! It's fixed. Looking good. Sandstone Blacksmith's Forge. What can we do with this? Hand tools. I remember that now. Steel plates, armor, scaled halberd. Steel plates, boots, scaled boots. We can build all kinds of boots for everybody. Various helmets. Forester's axe to help chop down forests. One-handed mace. Mm, bandit's hammer. Not really anything there. This is probably more just for, like, looks. Uh, but we probably do want to do this uh, until X. And we'll make the X, of course, one. We want to make hand tools because I know we need them to do other medieval stuff. Can't remember what exactly. So what else did we unlock from medieval, right? We're almost on the next tier of medieval, to be honest. Street lamps. Now, that could be cool. To illuminate the outside. They do take five iron. We have none. Like literally, actually none. Wow. It's because we've been using it. No, never mind. We just haven't hauled it. That's all. Hmm. I don't think they actually... No, they did take wood fuel consumption 1.5. Never mind. How about these braziers? Wood fuel consumption 1.5. They're the same amount of fuel. Much as I would like to do it, we don't even have time to put streets in right now. We'll do that later. These medieval cots are pretty cute. But the smokehouse, though... Well, maybe we'll hold off on that one and wait till we have a better... Uh, we have no room, really, in here. I mean, I could make it. The stone hearth, by the way. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. What a beautiful... <gasps> oh, we have to do it, friends. Misha, you deserve it. You can have sandstone or limestone. Sandstone, she says. Sandstone, I'm a hobbit, says Paul Dose. Don't listen to him. You guys like it when I roleplay, don't you? You like it very much. Uh, I think that's it for this. Let's check out security down here to see if there's anything new going on. No. So far, no. Terraform, nothing. Miscellaneous. Is there anything else in Medieval that we've unlocked? We're going to about to unlock the next one. I think it's all under the Medieval tab. Uh, yes, there's nothing new. Structure's good. Okay. So let's see what our next one is tomorrow when Ulma wakes up. We're going to get defensive systems. Learn how to create... Medieval-style defenses for your growing castle. Crenellated parapet walls. The Roman-era ballista. And steel keltrops. Ooh. I wouldn't mind making some ballistas. Dwarves, like, cut out some cubbies. And then we make some crenellated parapet walls. And then we shoot through them. Although, quite frankly, I think... Uh, if I'm going to make ballistas, I should make them... I don't want to let people walk over the walls, necessarily. But then again, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even be a bad idea because we can use the Keltrops to slow them down as they come in and we're just shooting ballistas at them from either side of the gates. Oh boy, that would be fun times. I like it. I like it a lot. Although maybe one of the things I should do is uh, tailoring. Hobbit jacket, dwarven tunic. We don't need the hobbit jacket anymore. Pants, dwarven tunic. We got plenty of those. What else even is there? What does everyone even need? Socks? I don't think you can make socks in this. I think you need specifically the medieval ones. What are the medieval ones we need? Medieval crafting is probably... Oh, there we go. Medieval tailoring. Okay. We'll do that one next, maybe. Rare thrombos. All right. This is kind of a super easy episode. I guess the game just went light on us today. But like, you know what? You guys can have a day off. Do all the things you need to do. We'll get back to you later. There is a lot of stuff. We need to, like, haul all this stuff. 
all, all that stuff. There we go. Defensive systems, friends. Let's go for tailoring. I want socks on everybody. Very important. More security. Yeah, steel, kelp. They're actually technically iron. And we can't make them out of anything but iron. But that's fine. Trap damage 15. Now, I thought these didn't actually damage you. Sharpen wooden sticks arranged in such a way as to make safe package difficult without consuming large quantities of time or injuring. Oh, okay. I've never actually seen someone take damage on these, these traps. I've only ever seen them go slow. But if we can make some ballistas and make them in positions where we can shoot through the walls. Speaking of, where is our walls now? Crenellated parapet walls. Woo! Let me take a look at what this does exactly. It's been a long time. So, beauty 2, hit points 210, work to build 2. Reinforced wall designed and built to be used as defense from projectiles. Design is slightly above waist height. It contains crenellations. It operates in a similar fashion to sandbags, except can be made from various materials. Okay. That's not necessarily the one that I want. I think I want the embrasures to shoot the, the ballistas through. Otherwise... Once I have the, the walls sealed up, what's going to happen is every single time they're going to go directly over that one tile with the powder pits and just go like straight through it. However, it doesn't stop us from building uh, some of these ballistas right now. We might be able to put them to good use. I don't know exactly where I would put them. We could have like a holdout over here someplace as people come around the corner over there. Just like, boom, we shoot them as they're running around. That sounds kind of fun, although it might make more sense to put it over here. Uh, I could use it in, like, any direction. Or we could have a def... Oh, here we go. Ballista, ballista, yes! That's a lot of a lot of stuff. We need to chop down. I'm a little bit worried about trees now. Over here for choppy choppies. Get all these trees out of here. I know they're pretty and all, but... We don't want people using trees against us. Get them out. Get them all out. All right, here I am. Training up some of the uh, random animals. Looks like the alpaca, for whatever reason. Tameness, 5 out of 5. Looks good. How are they doing ever since I put Alma off of it? They're doing fine. Grizzly Better 1, did you get any additional training? Yeah, you got up to 1 out of 2. I'm, I'm doing my job over there. Things are getting done. Cats, how you guys doing? There's just so many things in this world right now going on. There's too many. Oh, this is coming along, huh? God, the hauling that we have to do is out of control, though. And the crafting. Zev's working on that as fast as he can, but there's so much to do. So very much. Uh, Olma, you still doing the research? It looks like you're harvesting an oak tree. Oh, because I had just set everybody to chop. And you're going to do that above research. Okay. Rossi's no longer capable of walking. That's going to be one of my cats. Yes, the Dwarf of Ale is the best thing I ever decided to do. People are so happy. You just need all your dwarves to be drunk, and it's good times for everyone. By the way, we do not have all of these things filled. And you know why? It's because we haven't hauled 8,942,000 things. Maybe I should just take like a little bit of time here and do like a full haul. I did this on the stream the other day, and it worked out by mistake, and it worked out very well. So let's do it right now for a minute, because the episode's nearly at the end, right? Everybody's on haul goods on a six. Let's do a shift click up to a two, just briefly. I guess Misha was on a higher one for whatever reason. And let's just let everyone run around and haul, like, all the stuff all around the base and just clean up for a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to haul that herbal med. Uh, the problem here is, of course, if we're doing any work, it's not going to get done efficiently. But Plus, it's technically Giant Boar 1 is starving. We're going to be all right there, Giant Boar 1. We parked you outside. No, it's just minor. That's all. Oh, look at this. Hauling all the resources. Fantastic. Banner Sage coming in, hauling some things around. Whoa, alcohol addiction. Meester's addicted to alcohol. Oh, little hobbits. I thought it would be all the dwarves getting addicted to alcohol first, but nope, it's Misha. The tiniest, I mean, it makes some sense. Hobbits are just crazy. Who even knows? They're too jovial. Way too jovial for me. They're like extroverts. Uh, go to hell, extroverts. I shouldn't actually say that. Uh, uh, but yeah, a lot of you can relate. They're scary. They go outside and they want to talk all the time. That's just like Misha. All right, what do we got over here? All those. Well, why are all my animals starving? Oh, you know why? It's because they've eaten all the grass. 
like literally all of it. So what we're gonna have to do here is expand. And I don't even know what these. Oh, but they're in animal summer. They won't get too much more out of this, but we can let them go a little bit further here. Let's eat up some more more of these grasses. Hay grass has died from the cold. Okay. Uh, eat up a bunch of that stuff as well. Fantastic. So what's the deal? Honey root plant has died. Well, that's all this stuff in here. You know what? By the way, these things are almost completely useless. Mufalo self-tamed! <gasps> if we wanted to do some kind... This is getting out of control, by the way. <laughs> but if we wanted to do some kind of Mufalo quest, we could actually do that now. Have it haul for us. We could actually probably eat our alpaca if we wanted to as well. How's the temperature in here? 46 outside is 9. Well, what's the temperature? Growth multiplier, 78. Looks like we're going to need another one of these fires. So we can probably build an, a, yet another copy right there, I suppose. Bam. That is so many fires. That'll keep that super warm. I think the insulation is not going to be enough once we do get around to doing it. But All right, that's about it for this episode. Let's just wait for one more a day, do some hauling, and then probably be really sad. You over here, by the way, super cold. You know what we could do about it, though? Is go full medieval on this. We got 300 sandstone. Medieval sandstone hearth. Where would I put it? Right there, obviously. But where are we going to put this after that? Well, we could reinstall that. One, two, three. Now, you know what? Let's actually just... Uh, this is a normal pot. Let's just deconstruct that. Someone's going to wake up and do this stuff. Cedric, when, you, when you're done, wake up. It's actually reserved by me. No way, really? I'm going to come over there right now and take care of that instantaneously? Okay. Sure. We'll grab this thing over here, just a bit of micro. Bam, boom. Me come over here. No, you know what? Fine, I'll clean the room. It's not really what I wanted to do, but... No, why can't I... Oh, they... I have to click on this. I see. Prioritize working on that bed. We have to take this one over here. Where did I go? Where did I get... Oh, I shift-clicked it. No, come back. Do it right now. Fantastic. Let's move the dresser over here. Let's get me working on that immediately. Bam. And then lastly, sandstone hire theory. Keep everyone warm. For the night, let's prioritize work. I'll have Cedric probably make it. Uh, but I'll have me run all the materials over for it. And everybody's awake now. Just about. Except for everyone who wasn't here. I miss those hearts. They're pretty cool. I like them better than the Rim Kia hearts, personally. They just look so much more medieval. How long does it take to make this? Not very long. Not very difficult. Only 75 blocks. It's actually way cheaper as well. Boom! Oh, there's the snow! Uh, let's have me prioritize refueling this with that. Yes, just keep that warm as fast as... Oh, that's right. I was going to do this thing here. I forgot all about... I know I was staring at it the whole time. I didn't see it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of stuff to do. Look at this, friends. The winter has come. We're eating the rest of the grasses. We're going to have to switch the animals over into the winter and eat the dandelions. That'll probably last all of five seconds, is my guess. But we'll probably be fine with it. We're going to haul all this wood down here. Haul all that food over there, to haul all the other stuff. Every everyone's having a meal right now in the tavern, apparently. Cedar's consuming a meal. Chicken dwarf's going down for one. Cinnamon's over here as well. How's the temperature in here? 83 degrees, actually. This place is fantastic. Very, very well insulated. What do you guys... Oh, they're all hauling all these things. The chunks from 3,000 years ago we still have yet to bury. Alan and I can't even remember. Was it Tremaine? I can't remember. It's been so long. Oh, yes. This is one one day of catching up on hauling. Gil, thank you for it. Wow, look at all this. This is going to get super cold now, though. Everyone's coming in and out of this door, like, ridiculously. Tinker's helping us out. Zev is moving all that stuff. Haldos is like, eh, screw hauling. I'm just going to diggy dig. What is this here? Iron wall. Baldos, what are you about to uncover? Uh... Uh-oh. Baldos, what's behind door number one? We'll find out when he makes it, I suppose. Everyone's getting really unhappy, though, because probably because we're hauling in all these, like, disgustingly awful, ugly places. However, this really needs to be done for just a little bit more. Like, look, we're so close to getting the whole universe hauled. Like, everything. All the wood now is picked up. Most of these chunks over here are completely cleaned up. Oh, it's so nice. All it took is one... Well... This is going to be a lot of hauling as well, but... What are you doing down here, Cedric? Hauling iron. 
Oh, you're calling iron from way up there near Poldo. Oh, you know what? We don't have an access. Well, for now, we can actually mine this right there. Hold on, if you wouldn't mind saving us some time. Eventually, this is going to become water and whatnot, but for now, we can just get in, in and out there. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, people are dropping off the iron and the steel over here. Now it's happy fun hour. No one's doing cleaning or anything, but... Ooh. We're eating all the raw foods! No! Why did I do this? No, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, why did I do it? I put it above cooking. Cinnamon, Misha, get off all and put you back on a five. Oh, good lord. Someone needed to cook the foods. Just just one person, that's all I need. Cinnamon, you all right? Brain, anxiety, manage. Yeah, we're fine. Winter has begun. All right, I think that's... What about animal starvation? Yes, all the cats are starving. I can't see this working out well for them. Uh, I really can't, unless they can want go hunt squirrels or whatnot. Uh, I just don't, I don't have the food to feed them. We also need to eat them. This, by the way, is freezing and I didn't even think about it, quite frankly. I don't really want to bother coming down there anymore when we've got this thing up there. It's way more efficient. Uh, let's just think about how many more things are there to haul. Just a few more. Let's just zoomy zoomy to the morning and get a little bit more hauled. It's all snowing and fall. It's like a winter wonderland. Super ugly one, but it's a winter wonderland. Who is also my number one constructor? That's going to be Cedric and Zev. You know what? Neither one of you guys will put you back to six over here and six briefly. I'm going to do that all manually for a little bit. We're just lighting these fires for no reason you know environmentals are number one most important thing <gasps> what's this oh that's just a bow never mind that's all it was do we get any of these defenses made down here yeah we got the traps put in didn't get the door even started yet but we got the traps by the way i probably don't need this stockpile anymore can we actually reinstall it since it's a good thing filled with wood maybe i honestly don't even know where to put it do we need wood over here for some reason? Not particularly, no. Need wood in here for some reason? Eh, no, we've already got some. Could use some wood down here, though. Put it right over there, actually. That'll be nice. Alright, Cinnamon's eating raw food. Cinnamon, if you wouldn't mind, just for like right now, prioritize cooking some food. I know Misha should be doing it, but Misha's doing cleaning apparently first and is not locked in here anymore and absolutely 100% should be. Let's go restrict Misha. Filthy Hobbits is now. She'll take care of this area. And now we probably don't need cinnamon working on this anymore because we'll get it cleaned and someone else can make the meals. Ah, I can hear the construction happening. Zev, yes, thank you. Nice. We had all that vent going actually briefly, but now the temperature should be fine. Especially if this is this is close. Mufalo, how did you get yourself in there? Stupid Mufalo one. What have you done? What have you done? Oh, good lord. What a dope you are. Of all the places to go, Buffalo One. Of all the places. Animal starvation on every... Do we haul all this stuff? Not quite yet, but we're working on it. Paldos is still chopping. This is a little bit scary behind door number one here. Lots of iron, which is fantastic. Rat has self tame Okay, game, stop giving me animals. I can't handle it. There, there would be too many animals, friends. Too many animals. Uh, but looking around here, everything else is looking pretty good. Hauling for days. What else is everyone hauling? I guess I'm not even sure what they're doing. All right, I think we're done. Let's come back over here and fix all this. So everyone who was on hauling, go back to on a two, put it on a six. And done. So we, we hauled some stuff. There's still a little bit more to haul here. Misha's hauling up some mead and whatnot. Kind of the, half the reason to do that was to get the mead production going as the one thing we didn't haul. Let's just haul all that, uh, the honey root rather. Let's haul all that urgently. Get a little bit of uh, construction going. A little bit of moving things around. At least we got caught up on a lot of stuff here. In the next episode, we actually build the doors and the defenses. And maybe some armors and weapons and whatnot. Chicken dwarf, you're rescuing dew. Oh no! I can't be rescuing these cats. We're going to feed them for days. It cannot be allowed, friends. We also need to build a door here because this dope is a dopey pope. 
Apparently. You know what? If we're going to build one door, build, oh, build two. I was actually build three. No, don't deconstruct. What am I even doing? Click on that one. Click on this one. Cancel. We have to do it, friends. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. These poor cats. We, we, dwarves don't like no cats. Just scrunch them in and up, I think. All right, we're done. So, what's are returning? Defenses? Uh, probably going to get raided. I'm hoping to have the defenses in. The winter is here, and we're actually getting pretty close. Once Paul does digs this out, we can move over, and we might actually send out a raiding party soon, I think. I wonder if it's going to be time to go attack the dragon. Maybe maybe tame it, if possible. I don't know. We'll see what it spoils it holds. Uh, but until the future, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Continue, and the two have now broken up. Uh, well, I mean, Paldos was a xenophobe. What the hell was he thinking in the first place? I, I don't think Paldos is the smartest tool in the shed, as you might say. Someone needs to get a grinding stone out there uh, for his cranium, because I think he just got literally tricked into a relationship with Misha, because uh, she called him, like, a golden crescent moon or whatever the heck it was.